Hey everyone, in this video, I wanted to show you how to use the new shortcut app in iOS 12. The shortcut app lets you create shortcuts on your iPhone or iPad, and then you could use Siri to activate these shortcuts. So first thing you want to do is you want to actually download the shortcut app. It doesn't come natively with iOS 12. So I'm going to just jump into the app store and I'm going to search for shortcut. So the shortcuts app looks like this right on top here. And I'm going to go ahead and download the app. Now I'm going to go ahead and open the app here and let's get started. So this is what the shortcut app looks like. There is a library tab on the bottom and there is a gallery tab on the bottom. So on the library app, you could create a new shortcut by pressing create and create your shortcut this way. I'm going to press done here just for now. And you could go to the gallery tab where you could actually browse a lot of shortcuts that are already created here. And under each one, you could go ahead and slide left and right to see more. So here under essentials, let me just slide here. There is one called calculate tips. So I'm going to go ahead and click that on the bottom. It says get shortcut. I'm going to press get shortcut and now it's added it to my library. So you could add any of these, for example, log water. I could go ahead and say get shortcut and adds it to my library. So now if I go to the library tab, I should see those new shortcuts. So calculate tip, for example, I could just click that and then if the bill is $20, I'm going to say done and it's going to calculate a 20% tip if I press that and it's $4 and my total is 24 hours. So that's the shortcut here. And if I press the three dots on the shortcuts, it'll bring me to this page where on the top right, I could click settings and here I could add it to Siri. So if I add it to Siri by just clicking that, I could record a Siri command. So let me go ahead and press record here. Tip. And I'm going to press done on top and I'm going to press done again. Let me just exit here. So now if I activate Siri tip. So now just by saying tip to Siri, it's going to launch the tip app where I could calculate the tip. So now instead of using the gallery to add these essentials or the preset shortcuts, let's go ahead and create one from scratch. So under library, go ahead and press create shortcut here. And here you have a lot of different options. So under health, maps, music, photos, and video, there are a lot of different options here you could choose from. So here I'll just choose one under maps, get current location, and I'll say allow access here. And it says get current location is added. Now, again, if I go under settings, I could go ahead on top and name this get current location, press done. Underneath that, I could change the icon if I wanted to. So there's lots of different icons here. Underneath that, I could add it to Siri again. So I could record a command for Siri to get this shortcut, get current location. I'm going to press done here. So that's the things that you want to do under settings. Now I press done. So it's been named. I have a Siri shortcut and now I'm going to press done. So now that's been added here. So now you could use the Siri shortcut or you could click it under the shortcut app to launch any of these and it will pop right up. Now, if you wanted to delete one, all you would have to do is press down on these just like you would delete any other app. And it has this selected, press the garbage can on, on top and say delete shortcut and it deletes the shortcut. And when you're done, just press done here. So that's everything you need to know about the shortcut app. As always, you could create a shortcut by creating a shortcut on this page or pressing the plus sign right on top. Or you could go to gallery and browse all the different galleries and they're adding shortcuts all the time. I hope you found this useful. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for daily tech tutorials just like this one and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching.